market. So I was asked to talk a little bit about um, uh, your, your region and the Great Reset. And I, I don't claim to have, I'm not an economist. I don't claim to have perfect information, but I want to just give you some insights sort of distilling down what we've seen in other places. And so, so generally, first off, look at the macro, you know, the big global landscape. Um, this is work from Oxford and from uh, the research company Kearney. Everybody's got their different finger on the pulse right now. One of the characteristics I said in phase one, shifting into phase two of the Great Reset, is uh, we don't know. <laughs> These are all guesses. We have no idea what the macroeconomic picture is going to look like we're, you know, because we're basically we're, we're in a period of uncertainty. We don't have, uh, just like a startup, the startup never has enough information, enough time, and enough resources, right? We're all startups. Like we're, this is the global economy writ large. We don't have enough information, enough resources, or enough uh, time. So, so, but if you look at this as phase one, two, and three, right? Phase one is the falling off the cliff. Phase two is, you know, what they've got around, you know, this, this period in 2020. And then phase three is, you know, in 2021, when we start to really turn the lights back on and hopefully go back above, you know, at, the, at this point where we've fallen off the cliff, GDP is, is, below, is below water, right? We're in the red. And this is globally, right? So they've uh, mapped out a couple of different future scenarios. But basically, if you think about it, the two things you kind of want is you want your society to all row with the same oars together. And then you want to have really great cooperation between other, uh, other societies and economies. And, and so that so, if, if, but if you've got low social cohesion, which we have here in the United States, we have very low, you know, we've got very, bi, very uh, binary uh, language, like red state and blue state, which I never use. Um, uh, and we have low international cooperation. We, we have renounced a lot of our leadership in international markets and in global decision making. So we're actually in that lower left corner of for whom the bell tolls, we have a bunch of challenges that will only have huge ripple effects in the future. What you need is to focus on as a country and as a, hopefully as a um, trans-Tasman bubble, is a lot of social cohesion that is constant processes by which you are agreeing on the core challenges you're trying to solve together, and then a set of priorities and processes to solve them, right? And so, the good news is uh, when, and this is again, Kearney, this is Oxford and Kearney numbers, is you're in the right place. <laughs> uh, you look at what some of the projections of the GDP growth are gonna be, you're gonna recover far faster, you're gonna be in a lot better position. 